I'm Emily. I'd like to tell you all about my grandmother Yai because she's so awesome and makes everyone smile. For example, <laughs> Granny's always pranking me and I like pranking her right on back. The trouble is, Granny's not at all frightened of scary spiders and bugs. Neither am I, so it's not that easy to do anymore. But it doesn't stop us from trying to catch each other out. But I could see the shadow, so I knew Granny's prank was coming. Granny's recently been upping her strategies to catch me out. But two can play at that game. The key to pranking is the element of surprise. <laughs> On the subject of insects and bugs, here in Thailand we have a lot of the real ones just outside in our garden, so we're quite used to seeing them. The first job of each day is to water the plants if it hasn't rained the night before. Our dogs like the early morning sun too, as it's not as hot as it gets straight after breakfast. Then they like the shade. We grow all sorts of vegetables, especially pumpkins, as my dad loves pumpkin soup. We also have lots of banana cheese, so drink plenty of banana milkshakes. I was given some tiny fish and they now live happily in a big water lily bowl. Those are frog eggs. Granny loves to sing and teach me songs which we sing together in Thai. <laughs> My grandfather Da passed away last January. Now Granny divides her time between our house and my Uncle Kate's house so she can help look after her grandchildren, Dream and Dome. After some weeks over there, Granny comes and spends some time with us again. When Granny is at home, we do lots of activities together, such as football. My Granny doesn't mind people knowing her age one bit. She's 85 years young. I thought of calling this video, Life Begins at 85, as she seems to love every minute of every day Whoa! and there's always lots to do and lots of laughter too now some young people would think if you play football with your granny you'd have to give them a bit of a chance and go lightly not my gran she's really good at football so when we play it's a proper game and if truth be told she scores a lot more goals than I do when I'm really trying to. We don't have a car, so we turned our driveway into a place for sport. It's easy to just stop what you're doing in the house and come out from time to time to have a quick game of football and basketball. Mum's favourite game is badminton. I love it too. And we play together every day. Mum's pretty good at floorball too, which, if you got a driveway, makes a fun family game. Granny also beats me every time at archery. I don't know how she does it. 
She gets pretty near bullseye every single time. Credit to Mum though. She definitely has the coolest pose when she's shooting those arrows. And Mum is definitely the skipping champion of our house. After all that exercise, it's time for an early morning nap. <laughs> Now Granny has some dastardly moves with the water pistol. So do I. So let the water battle commence. You can run. You can hide. But Granny will find you. This is our dog Sharky. This morning she rolled all over in something too smelly to describe in words. I'm sure Shaki thought she smelt adorable and couldn't understand why she needed a bath. But soon she was smelling of flowers again. After the school run is over, our lane is quite peaceful. So the perfect time for a stroll up and down our street with our dogs. Granny likes to buy lunch from the food van. The barbecued fish is especially delicious. At home, my parents speak to each other in English. So, my first words were in English. Granny takes some time each day to practice reading with me in Thai. I'm getting more confident speaking and writing in Thai now. I think instead of calling Granny Yai, I should call her Granny Bullseye. Whoa. My mum, Quan, is a wildlife artist and makes sculptures and drawings of animals. Occasionally, she lets us help her paint her sculptures. Sometimes, mum's sculptures are made in bronze. But this is a series of elephants she made in resin, painting the texture and the lines of the elephant skin in oil paint is a lot of fun. Granny's favorite treat to eat of all time is KFC's mashed potato in gravy. When she eats it, she's in heaven. One thing I've noticed making this video is that I have a cutting pumpkin face. Mm -hmm. And always make cutting pumpkin noises. <coughs> Which makes my mum laugh. But when I'm cutting onions, I make everybody cry. Especially me, it seems. Some days you just feel like going out for lunch. Our favorite place is on the other side of a very busy road. It's just a bit too far for Granny to walk to. So we get a taxi instead. Today it's raining, but we don't mind, as when it rains, it feels a little bit cooler, which is always very welcome. Victoria Gardens is a shopping mall near to us. It has come and go stalls outside the shops, like this crispy pancake maker. 
We bought some pancakes as it's really yummy, and my friends like to eat it too. Victoria Gardens has a supermarket called Foodland with lots of imported foods from many countries. It also has a nice little cafe. Dad had fish and chips. Granny and Mum fried noodles. And I had fish fingers and chips. I noticed colorful candy floss hanging up at the pancake stall. Actually, I've never eaten it before, and always wanted to try some. We could hear dance music not so far off, so we followed the rhythmical sound. There was a dance competition taking place. We sat down and watched the show, and ate our candy floss. Granny and I felt like taking a turn on the swings, so that's what we did. And the music made us feel like dancing together. We needed some fruit from the market, so that's where we stopped off in the taxi. Next, in Thailand, fruit isn't expensive. I like drinking homemade orange juice each morning because it's full of vitamin C. Mangoes and sticky rice are always delicious, and we buy a big bunch of water spinach. Which Thai people like to stir fry as a dish on its own, but we actually bought it for our turtles as they love eating it so much. When we get back home, our five dogs always get super excited to see us, like we've been away for weeks. Love the challenge of turning a random squiggle into a drawing. It could be something really simple, like an A becomes a house. But here, Granny's squiggle reminded me of the sea, and I ended up drawing a mermaid swimming underwater. Alongside her sea dragon friends, after we've been sitting down for a while, I like to move about. Granny likes boxing, and she's really strong. It's hard to believe she's eighty-five, not twenty-five. <laughs> I think I not only have a cutting pumpkin face. But a boxing face too, which seems to make everyone laugh. After all that activity, jumping about, it's time to take it easy. And now it's Granny's turn to make a picture. We brought Granny a pre-drawn canvas of a dolphin jumping out of the water. She loves coloring these type of pictures. Granny likes not just painting the canvas, but adding a few colorful touches to my face too. <laughs> Or do I look like? <laughs> And I do it right back to her. <laughs> As mentioned earlier, Granny likes to sing Thai songs. So do Mum and I. Mum writes down the words in Thai, and we have a lot of fun rehearsing together. Oh, man. Fly no, fly no. 
activities. I'm glad my granny enjoys our play acting with toys. Jenga, Ludo, making jigsaws, and random stuff out of Lego. Jenga is a great family game. And Granny's really good at it. I guess all good things have to come to an end. <laughs> Ludo is our favorite board game. Like Jenga, Ludo is a game of suspense. But in Ludo, there's the extra battle tactics that go into winning the game. It's much more than the look of rolling the dice. Gran likes making jigsaws with me. I think we make a good team. Yeah! Gran likes messing with Lego. And she's really good at sorting the pieces too. In our home, we like to dance. Granny likes a slow waltz, but also hip hop too. It's mid-afternoon, and I thought Granny might like a chocolate ice cream treat. We don't have ice cream very often, so when we do, we appreciate it all the more. This brand of ice cream has three chocolate flavors, and I think everyone will enjoy it very much. Granny likes to chill out with me in the paddling pool at the end of a hot day. Actually, here in Thailand, every afternoon is hot. And the water feels so refreshing. Around 5 o'clock, we like to sit down and watch a program or two. Usually, wildlife documentaries on Netflix. It's not just we humans that like these type of documentaries, but one of our dogs called Sharky, too. Her favorite programs are about wolves. She looks like she's got a lot of wolf in her, don't you think? Granny teaches me so many things. And now it's my turn to help her in return. To use a computer. Granny loves Google Maps and exploring the streets in Bangkok and looking at the lane where we live. Granny's been staying with us for one month. And now she's going to my Uncle Kate's house to be with her other two grandchildren. Granny lives for her family 
and mashed potato and gravy. And that is her life's happiness. Granny is such a happy person that she makes us all happy to be around her. So I'm counting the days until she comes back over this way. Lots of hugs forever, Granny Yai. Love, Emily.